What's going on, boxing fans? This is Kenneth SB and Box. Let's speak boxing. Here is the web at www.sbandboxing.com. What are we going to talk about? Um, let's talk about uh, Golden Boy. Golden Boy is Richard Schaefer. He already set a fight between Paul and Mom Naji, which is the current WBA title holder, the, the Magic Man, whereas the WBC title, undefeated title holder, Adrian Broner. Um, when's it set? It's set for June 22nd at the, in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. Um, it's probably going to be televised on HBO. But. Um, What's so crazy about this fight? It's 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 going to be a good fight. Um, I think that'll be an exciting fight to watch. I'm a little disappointed in the whole you know skipping the two weight classes from Adrian Broner to take on Pauli Monnaji. Um, but you know you guys already know the resume of Broner. He's 26 and over, 22 KOs. He's undefeated. He's coming off two paired wins at the 135 weight division, which he went up. Um, he beat uh, Antonio DeMarco. He beat Gavin Reese. He completely dominated Gavin Reese, but. Um, now, from a boxing fan's point standpoint, um, not an analyst, I'm just a boxing fan, um, I, I'm excited to see Adrian Broner move up in weight. Move up in weight. He's carrying the weight good. He's still fast. He's still strong. Um, he's still, you know, he's packing some punching power. Um, so his chin, chin hasn't really been tested, but, he's, he, you know, his defense is there. And, you know, as he moves up in weight, he's taking on bigger opponents. Um, better opponents, if that. So that's that's a little exciting. Um, but I, I was really interested in, in, in seeing him to jump into the you know the 140 pound division against the big boy division. The one why I'm saying the big boy division because 140 140 pound division because 147 147 is good, but you know it's not it's not stacked like the 140 division. Um, in my eyes, I think it has the best talent out there. Um, yes, he could have stood. At the 135, he could have stood down there. He could have took on Ricky Burns, and he could have took on Miguel Vasquez, but I, in the lightweight division. But I just see Adrian Broner completely dominating that division. I think it would have been easy work. I don't think Ricky Burns or Miguel Vasquez could have. You know, it, it's debatable. You know, a lot of people debate about that, but I think Adrian Broner still would have dominated these guys. You know, um, but <clears throat> him skipping, him skipping the the weight division at 140, I think that's a little crazy. You know, I'm a little disappointed in that. Uh, why? Because you, you, you got Amir Khan. Yes, Amir Khan came off a loss, and then he came on. You know, Danny Garcia beat Amir Khan, got knocked down, but Amir Khan came off a victory. But you have, you still have Amir Khan there. You have Danny Garcia. You have Brandon Rios. You have Mont Peterson. Um, you have Zab Judah, Luke, uh, Lucas Mathise, Juan Marquez. Um, you have all these fighters, you know. And then Adrian Broner, Adrian Broner, you know, he, he said, you know, Danny Garcia is not going to comment on him because he, he, that's his boy. Um, He's not gonna. He's not gonna comment on Zab Judah because that's his boy. He'll never fight them because that's his boys. But man, I would have loved to see him take on the 140 round division and see, you know, especially Brandon Rios or something like that would have been a good fight. That would have been a hell of a fight. Um, skill wise, I think, you know, Adrian Broner has the skill to beat Brandon Rios hands down. But Brandon Rios has has the chin. He just keeps coming forward. He's gonna brawl with you. I just wanted to see, you know. Um, Broner, if not just Danny Garcia or Amir Khan or, or someone like that at that caliber, that would have been awesome. But yo, he skipped the 140 pound division. That's crazy. And who does he take on? He takes on Pauli Montanaji. You know, not to take nothing away from Pauli. You know, he still has a good record, 32 and four. Um, his his KO punching power is just not there. He definitely don't hold no punching power. He fought what last October in the Barclays Center. Um, he fought Pablo Cano, and 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 that was that was that was a shaky fight right there. Um, Paulie hit the canvas. He didn't look too good. He looked sloppy, but you know that was just I wasn't impressed with Paulie whatsoever. Not to take nothing away from Paulie, I like watching Paulie's fight. He's very exciting, but he just doesn't have any punching power. His speed—that's all he has to work with—is speed. But uh, I see uh, Adrian Broner. The only possible, you know, I, I don't see Adrian Broner. The only thing I see him moving up and waiting, but he does walk around at 150, you know, he can walk around in 150, you know. I don't think he has any problems making that weight. That's his natural weight. Um, he's just as fast as Paulie. He has more punch and power, so I just see Adrian Broner just winning that fight, you know. Unless uh, it just comes down to training, it comes down to diet, and we'll see at the, at the 147 how Adrian Broner carries that weight. But other than that, I don't see Adrian Broner, you know, that's the, I don't see Pauli Malignaggi posing any tra threat to him. But it is boxing, you just never know. But I just think that's a weak opponent. Um, I think he should have just stood down at 140. And at least that's my opinion. But guys, this is Kenneth Thespi in boxing. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you think that's a good move for Adrian Broner? Do you think it's a bitch move for Adrian Broner? Um, 
you know, I'm an Adrian Broner fan, but hey, I don't know. I have no idea why you skipped the, the prime weight division. You know, but guys, um, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, friend request. Go up here, subscribe. Have a good one.